Hey everyone, I'm sitting outside my local Dolby Cinema and I wanted to do a quick review of the new movie Ambulance. Ambulance stars Yahya Abdul-Mateen II and Jake Gyllenhaal as two brothers um, as they pull off a bank heist and things go wrong. Um, this is a Michael Bay film, so if you know anything about Michael Bay films, you know about Bayhem. And there is definitely Bayhem in this movie. I will say, out of the different Michael Bay movies that I've seen, that this is definitely in the top third. Um, it's up there with Bad Boys and The Rock for me, and I mention those movies because they even mention in the movie themselves. Um, if you know anything about Michael Bay movies, then you know that there's going to be some crazy camera work, and basically he's saying in this one, hey, I got a drone. You know, I, I appreciate some of his movements and stuff, but honestly, we don't need to see a camera moving up or down the side of a building, especially when the plot isn't moving anywhere, you're not changing locations or anything like that. But I don't know, I think Jake Gyllenhaal does his best psycho impression and I had to tell myself after 10 minutes, hey, turn off the logic, this is a Michael Bay film. And once I did that, I was able to enjoy it for what it was. Um, there are some other great performances in it. Um, like I mentioned before, the cinematography is great, but it's a little bit too long because honestly, you could have cut about 20 to 30 minutes from the movie and still have a pretty good movie as far as action and story movement and so forth. I would say if you like Michael Bay movies, you'll like this one, generally because it delivers what a Michael Bay movie normally does. So as far as if you should see it in the theater, if you should wait for a rental or something like that, or purchase it on physical media, if you're into Michael Bay movies, go see this one in the theater because the big screen, plus I saw it in Dolby, so the big screen adventure definitely is worth it at one point about two hours into the movie because it's longer than two hours i was like why am i sweating you know that's how action-packed the movie is after the first 10 15 minutes of establishing a story kind of outlandish story the way it went down but once again michael bay film um it was just action all the way to the end um if you just shut your mind off for a little bit and you'll be able to enjoy this movie thoroughly so with that i'm just going to sign off and go get some food um maybe stop sweating i think i have by now but uh let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this movie if you checked it out if you thought it sucks basically you're saying it's not for you and you don't like bad boys and spinning cameras they try to do that spinning camera around the characters again it didn't come off as effective as it did in bad boys but nonetheless go see the movie if you're into michael bay because it's definitely one of the better michael bay movies definitely one of the better ones i've seen in the last four or five years or so so if this is your kind of movie go and check it out ambulance